hey guys welcome to my channel so guys in this video we are going to see how to download the postgres sql okay so we'll be downloading the postgres sql and also we'll be doing the installation process so now guys let's get started so let's go on this postgres sql.org website and then you can just start with this click on download so i have clicked it and here it comes on the url called downloads okay and just need to select according to your system so i'm using windows so i'll click window here and then guys you can just download the installer by clicking on it okay so let me just click on this download the installer here it comes and here you see that the latest version on 2023 it is 16 okay so this is my windows so you can just click on this and download your download should begin in few seconds so it's already started guys here you see so guys let's just wait until it gets perfect so here you see guys it's downloaded and now you can just go to your downloads folder and you can find that so guys here you see that we have successfully downloaded the postgres sql file and now let's double click on it and start with the installation process let's double click okay so here is a pop-up and now let's click on yes and then continue so once you double click on this postgres.exe file then a pop-up will appear and you can just tell yes and then it starts with the process of installation part okay so as first step it is going to tell that set up your postgres sql so just click next and it comes with the installation directory so you don't need to change anything you just need to leave it as default and just click next and then guys coming back again here and from this select components you just select the first postgres then pg admin and the last command line tool just unselect that stack builder okay because we do not require that part so you can just skip that and click on next so once click next it is going to ask your data directory so just leave it default and just click on next then guys once you uh, move next here it is asking for the password so you just need to set up your own password like you can keep one two three four or one two three four five six seven eight anything else and then click on next once it's done it shows your port so here port it's given like five four three two okay so five four three three it's given you can keep five four three two or any default port you can give by default if you want to change in future also you can just after the installation you can go to the postgres setting and update the port okay so guys we are going to leave it default and click next and then here it shows the complete what are the things you have set up an installation part so guys just click next and it is ready for the installation if you click here next then your installation process will begin okay so guys let's continue with the installation okay so it's almost completed guys for the installation okay so here you see guys completing the postgres setup wizard setup has finished installation postgres on your system okay so now let's click on finish and that's it you are done so now guys let's click on start and just search for pg admin okay so here we are pg admin let's click on it and here your postgres sql panel starts so let's wait to start okay so it's got started perfect so guys we have seen that postgres sql is successfully installed okay and now let's click on this server so if you click on this here and let's view this server so it is asking for the password guys connect to server it is asking for a password so we have given the password while the installation time so let's give that password whatever we have given while the installation so i have given and let's click ok perfect and here you see we have one database so inside this database you find a default database here which is given by the postgres itself while installation okay so now if you want to create a new database you can just right click create and create the database so guys we will be seeing all this process in the next video so guys in this video we are just seeing how to install the postgres sql database so guys in this video that's it thank you for watching this video please subscribe like and share